What's up guys? Um, I just wanted to do a little helmet build video for my upcoming season. Um, before we get started, if you've ever had to come out of the game before because you got smacked in the nuts, hit that subscribe button. And if a ref has ever told you to pull your knee pads down and you pretended to fix it until he left, hit that like button. Um, my helmet choice is a Shut Eric's PQ10. Shout out to my man Hunter Reynolds on TikTok. Um, and before you guys come in and say you suck and that coach gave you a bucket, uh, I wore speed flex back in college. So here was my college setup. Uh, I had a speed flex with a cam lock chin strap. Obviously the visor was put on afterwards, uh, but I wore a clear visor in the games. Uh, my issue with the speed flex more than anything is the weight. Uh, being a quarterback, weight is extremely important to me. And in reality, the Air XP just feels like half the weight of the speed flex. I also feel like the helmet sits too low on my head and it just makes it hard to move. And the helmet sits below my jaw which makes it feel very bulky and it makes it feel like the weight distribution is off. Um, I also don't like the size of the face mask. The face mask is the height of a lineman face mask on the Air XP and it only has anchor points on the sides. Um, and as you guys know, uh, you've seen these top bars get bent and it just looks awful and is really dangerous. Um, and finally, I hate the cam lock chin strap. Uh, yes, I know I could just put the adapters on it and use a regular chin strap, but being an FCS level player, uh, that wasn't really an option. And I just feel like the cam lock chin strap is inconsistent. I like finding my exact fit and locking it in. And the chin strap always feels uneven and honestly my helmet always came off. Uh, so moving on to my uh, setup for this season. Uh, so here's my setup for this upcoming season. Uh, the first thing I notice when I pick it up is how light it is compared to Speed Flex. The face mask is just significantly smaller and lighter too. Um, so starting with chin strap, I use a Sport Star X1 Evolution chin strap. Um, I'm currently working on getting some permanent chin strap locks for the top buckles right here um, since they always come unbuckled when I get hit. So I'll give the speed flex that. Um, I like the Sport Star chin strap just because I feel like it's the most com comfortable hard cup chin strap. And I honestly like the ability to adjust the strap length right here. Um, now moving up, I decided to go away from wearing visors in the game. So I feel like it gets in the way too much and it fogs up and it just creates a hard experience trying to see. Um, but ironically, in most European leagues, mirrored visors are legal, so. Uh, for training and photo shoots, I'll either use this mirrored visor or black tinted visor. Um, maybe one day I'll go back to wearing a visor in a game, but I don't know. Um, these visors and this nose bumper from Green Gridiron Um, moving back, I have the st uh, stickers on the back from Green Grid Iron. It's the uh, Metallic American Flag sticker and the um, Chrome Warning Label. Uh, just the one thing about ARXP is the Warning Label is a white paper sticker and it looks really bad. So replacing the Warning Label is a must. Alright, so here, here's this helmet on. Um, just starting off, it sits much higher. My, um, it sits right at the crease in my jaw. Um, it feels a lot smaller and it feels like it kind of just sits on top of my head, which is really nice. It gives me a lot of movement side to side and turning. Um, the weight feels very evenly distributed. It feels like all the weight sits right on the top of my head, which is really nice. Um, the face mask is really small. Um, it cuts off right underneath my bottom lip and it cuts off right underneath my nose. So that allows me to get the best vision possible, which is really nice. Um, and this is a titanium face mask, so it is probably half the weight of a Speedflex face mask. Um, Moving towards the back, you see it sits up a little bit higher on the back of my neck, which is also very nice. It allows my head to move backwards, uh, which is especially important for throwing deep balls as a quarterback. And uh, 
finally, um, I feel like it just looks good. So I explained why I don't like the speed flex, but why did I pick the RXP? Um, I mean, I could pick an F7 or a Vices or a Zenith or anything else really. But honestly, the main reason I like the RXP is the aesthetics of the helmet. I grew up watching 2000s football, and the smooth shell look with the two-bar face mask is a classic, and it, it just can't be beat. Uh, the excessive cuts and the aggressive looks of the modern helmets, they just don't really work for me, and I feel like the RXP fits my style better as a player and just aesthetically. Uh, when it comes down to, th and then it comes down to the things I harped on earlier. It's lighter, it sits up higher on my head, and the face mask is smaller with better vision. But at the end of the day, I really feel like we need more diversity in style when it comes to football. Uh, everybody wears one or two helmets with the same face mask, and it just gets really boring and drown out. Um, but at the end of the day, I think you should wear what you want and what you think looks good. Uh, whether it's your helmet, your jersey number, your cleats, your socks, whatever, wear, what, wear what's comfortable to you and wear what you like. Uh, everybody's different. Before you go, I want to thank Angie Labs for supporting me. Angie Labs is a supplement company based out of California, and they have supported me for several years now since I was back in college. Um, they make really good NCAA safe products and supporting two of the nicest guys of the, I've ever met. Uh, use my code on the screen if you want to buy something, and uh, they can help you support me as well. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.